Hello my friends. So today I am going to show you how to take apart a cycle assembly for the Dyson DC33. All right. So take it off the machine. Go ahead and take the the clear bin off. And after that you're going to hit your gray button here. And you'll separate the two. And for this part here, the only thing I'm going to do is pull this gasket out. Be careful when you're pulling right around this little catch because if you pull this out too too hard you'll break that off and then the dirt bin won't latch anymore you just want to kind of work it around and be careful around that area okay Now the next thing you can do is you're going to want to pop off this so you can stick a small screwdriver inside of here to take this little gray button out and keep the spring, don't lose the spring. Alright, next thing is it requires a little bit of brute force, but uh, we want to get this piece out and it's got it's held in place with like these little tabs. Um, so the, the most effective way I've found to do it is uh, propping up the part here on a little block and uh, you know so that this is kind of cantilevered over and then just take a, a mallet, I've got a, a rubber mallet here and just strike it nice and firmly and uh, it pops right out. I've never had one of these break doing that so you can give it a good pop. Um, you can see how nasty these are. This is a pet vacuum, obviously. They get pretty, pretty nasty. We're back in the now. All right, next, what you can do is you're going to take a flat blade screwdriver and you're going to see the little latches here, or these little clips and so you're going to work it down in there and you kind of have to pry up against this so you'll see this lip here want to bend a little bit but uh, again I've never had any issues with that but it's kind of the only way you can do it is you've got to get in there and work it and pry it and these all, a lot of times will uh, just straighten right back out so never had one of those breaks so you don't have to worry if you feel like you're bending it so just pry that all the way around, get your clips. Okay, that separates. And then there is a gasket inside of here. get that gasket pulled out it just lays in there on top of itself so it just there's a there's a spot where it overlaps so set that aside you can rinse that off if you want um, so we're gonna clean that all right so now you're left with the cyclone and uh, for this one you come in from the top this is probably one of the easier cyclone assemblies so you have screws on the top here and they're just smaller screws and this is a Torx uh, 15 yep T15. So take these screws out on the top. And then there's one more kind of hiding right underneath this uh, this little red lever. And I'm able to get it at an angle, so I've never had to take this lever out. Once you get that, you can pull this apart. And that comes apart. And then you can clean that. And no need to pull this out. It stays in there fine and water dries off in there, no problem. Wash that part as it is. And then now you can see we've got, uh, what is that, seven? Seven more screws. All right, then you're going to separate these two pieces here. And then what you're going to find here is a gasket. And I always wash this because this is usually pretty dirty, but you want to be careful because these can tear. So be careful when you're pulling it out. 
Okay, just like that. And then this uh, th this is probably like the Achilles heel of the whole deal um, is this spring and latch here. So uh, I will show you um, how to do this properly and uh, when we go to put it back together. So you want to make sure you pull this spring and little red lever piece out. Okay. All right, I'm back here. So you've got your parts all cleaned um, and looking good, smelling good. For any of you guys looking for the right tools to use, I use a combination of like small little paint brushes with bristles, bottle brushes to get into areas, you know, that are hard to reach um, down inside of little crevices and stuff like that. Um, so, and then just soap and water, um, which helps me, uh, you know, get these things as clean as I possibly can. So, um, okay, so you're going to start off with uh, this piece here. And first thing you're going to do is lay this this gasket back down in there. This is that circular gasket. It, it lays on itself. And what you can see here is um, if you want to put it in perfectly back exactly like it was, then you're going to look for this one little area on the gasket that has like a little flat spot. Um, and so if you look here, you can kind of see that it is um, most likely probably this this spot right here. So, and it doesn't really matter, but um, because it just goes in there and then uh, just lay it down in there. And then one side you'll see um, indentation and that's the part that is gonna go overlapping the other part. So as long as it overlaps at least some, then uh, that's what you're looking for. So. So you get your ga gasket put in place, and then you're going to line up the uh, this part here with where your button goes, okay? And then just push it down, and then make sure all your clips pop. You just check all your clips around here, make sure that they pop in place, okay? And you can go ahead and put your little button back on at that point. So I've got the spring there. Make sure you don't lose the spring. The spring is going to sit right on top of that little pin. And then one end goes in first. And then usually the easiest way to do it is stick a flat blade and kind of pry it a little bit and then push it in there just like that. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to look at the top here. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to get this little uh, lever piece. And so the way to put this in is to put this in with this part of the spring, that little piece sticking out. Um, it's going to slide down where the opening is in the, in the little hole. Okay. And basically what you're going to slide it down and then start to twist it around, which is putting tension on this lever to keep it um, wanting to be pressed out. And then there's a little clip, there's a little ridge right here. And that ridge is there to, to hold this in place while you're assembling the rest of the part, the parts. Okay. So once you get it there with that ridge kind of setting it in place, then just don't touch it, leave it there. Um, and then we'll work on, uh, the getting this white piece installed. Um, so the white piece can go on pretty much any way. I don't think there's no specific locator. Um, but you want to just double check the, that you have the little holes here and there's little notches cut out of there. So just make sure all that looks good. Set this back in place. And you're going to get your silver screws. Okay, so you got all your screws in, and then you're going to get your top, your lid here, and the lid is going to go on just like that. And you can see this thing popped out just a little bit, so get that down in place there. And 
again, you want to make sure that that thing is springing out like that. And then you're going to put your black screws on the lid. Okay, and then you're going to take your, uh, uh, this bottom section here, and then you're going to line up your little notches with uh, where these little gaps are here, and then just, just press in firmly until you see those pieces line up and fit inside of there. Okay, then you're all set, put together there. And then your clear container, um, then to put this gasket back in. Um, so it's been cleaned. And then I have basically like an armor all, armor all that I'm going to wipe it down with. So. So now that you can see, I wiped it down with like an armor all type substance. Um, it gives it a little bit of uh, lubrication as you're sliding it and it helps for that. And then it also helps when you're opening and closing. Um, so you're gonna start, the, this is the easiest way I've found to do it. Um, so if you start with this corner here and then just start pulling it across as you're feeding it into here. Um, and then make sure that this is staying underneath that lip. And then as you pull it across, you can kind of make sure that it's working itself into there. Just like that. And then work it around. It stretches pretty good. And then just be careful around this, this clip here. Uh, if that breaks off, then uh, this thing doesn't stay closed. It just flops open, so. Okay, and the other thing too is the lubrication does help when this is, you know, opening and closing. It makes it open a little easier. If they're really dry, then uh, they can be kind of hard. So then you're gonna put this all together. and then you're gonna test it out. There you go. Hope this helps guys. Like and subscribe, comment. Um, I also do this for a living, so if you, uh, if you found this valuable to you, um, I always appreciate anybody who uh, throws me a couple bucks. I've sent my, I put my PayPal in the description, so.